Okay, the third example which related to the uh, increment. Um, okay, so you are given the radius and the height of a right circular cone. Okay, now you imagine in front of you there is a cone. So, how does the cone look like? Okay, there is a cone. Okay, and you are given the radius and also the height. Uh, okay, also there is no specific value of the R and the H. They just give you the information of the error. Okay, so the error, the error that for that one. Um, okay, with errors of at most, at most mean maximum. Okay, the maximum, uh, the maximum. Okay, at most, uh, for radius is three percent. So, something related to the radius is 3% and for the high is 2%. So, I'm not saying this one is equal. yeah. So, this is for radius. So, this one is the changes of the height. So, use differential which means total differential to estimate or to approximate the maximum percentage error. So, the question asking for maximum percentage error in Volume. Volume of coin. So, volume of coin. So, what is the formula of the volume? Uh, the volume of the coin. Do you know that? So, if you don't remember that, then you just go googling. So that is very important. So we expect that you know that. Normally, it's not given during the exam. What is that? Just go googling. Volume of coin. So, volume of coin is 1 over 3 pi r square. Okay, we are using h. h. So, your volume is depending on r and h. You have two variable function here. Okay. So, what is this in the symbol? Maximum percentage error in volume. Just like we done for Frazier just now. So, the symbol, the mathematical symbol should be dv over v, then maximum. So, you have to put the absolute sign, multiplied by 100%. Now, how about the, the, the information provided here? So, this one something related to the maximum percentage error. Because they said that at most, meaning that the maximum percentage error of r, the maximum percentage error of H, then you have to convert into this, just like this form. Okay, so for this, you have uh, dr over r multiplied by 100% is 3%. And H, you have dh over H multiplied by 100% will give you 2 so that is only the information that we have okay so since we are going to obtain the this one dv over v so we need the dv first so we need the dv first so dv is partial to, uh, total differential so v depends on r and h so you have vr and you must have dr plus vh dh so, now you can obtain the VR and VH by uh, differentiate partially this one. So, you have VR and you can have v, VH. So, VR, you differentiate R squared, so it becomes 2R. So, you have 2 over 3 pi R H. And differentiate H with 1. So, you have 1 over 3 pi R squared. Then we plug in. So, 2 over 3 pi r h dr plus 1 over 3 pi r square dh. So, can we evaluate the dv straight away? No, because we are not given the value of r, the value of, the value of h, and also we are not given the dr and also dh. But we only have this. We, we only have this one. 
So, now we proceed to obtain the relative error. So, dv over v. So, 2 over 3 pi r h dr plus 1 over 3 pi r square d h divided by v is 1 over 3 pi r square h. So, the same process that we've done for the pressure just now on the previous video. So, we want to simplify the expression. So, what we can do is just uh, 2 over 3 pi r h d r over 1 over 3 pi r square h. H cancel, uh, pi cancel, so 2 over 3, 3 over 1, so you got 2. Okay, so uh, you have then 2 and R, R, H, so you have dr over r okay and the second one so the second one uh, 1 over 3 cancel 1 over 3 cancel pi r square h pi r square cancel then you have only dh over h and since we want to obtain the maximum so we put the absolute sign so dv over v absolute so we do the separate dr over r plus dh over h so we put the smaller and equal to sign okay and then uh, because the information provided to us in percentage form then you have to multiply by 100% So, 2 dr r 100% okay, plus dh over h 100%. Then, so we, we have the information dr over r just now. dr over r we got 3%. So, we have 3% plus 2%, 2%, so we got 8%, so that is from our calculation, so what, then what is your conclusion, so back to the question, use differential to estimate the maximum percentage error in computing the volume, so therefore, the maximum Percentage error in volume is 8%. So that is your answer. It's not so complicated, right? If you follow my step, then you will just will get uh, the answer easier. Very easily. Okay, but if you just use your own version, your own understanding. So I'm sure that you can. You might be lost. So if you look at the past year question, I will share soon the past year question. And you can see that there are lots of questions regarding the maximum percentage error. Okay. And also the question uh, which related to the, the changes. So as I, I think um, my previous exercise that gave you something related to this question.